In this video, you'll learn how to add custom text to summary values, what kind of value formatting is applied to summaries by default, how to change numeric value formatting using an example of a total summary, and finally, how to change formatting for date time values using an example of group summaries. Let's start with a grid control that has a footer enabled. Select a column and expand its summary item property. Let's change the summary type to count to see that the display format property is automatically changed to zero in curly braces. This indicates the value placeholder. Add the count caption before the summary value and run the application. The footer cell under the product name column now shows the total record count along with the specified text. Let's open the property grid, displaying the order sum columns settings. Expand the summary item property and set the summary type to sum. The display format property is automatically changed. The created summary format string already contains custom text, and the value placeholder additionally includes a format specifier, C2, meaning currency formatting with two digits after the decimal point. Note that this format specifier matches the one specified by the column's display format property. In other words, the summary value formatting matches cell value formatting. Now change the format specifier to C0 to hide the decimal digits. To learn more about available numeric format specifiers, refer to the standard numeric format strings topic in MSDN. To experiment with group summaries, invoke the Grid Designer, switch to the Group Summary Items page, and add a new item. Set the field name property to Order Date and the Summary Type property to Max. The Display Format property is automatically changed. Note that summary text is enclosed in parentheses for group summaries to make them more readable when they follow each other in group rows. Now change the display format property to format values as a three-letter month string followed by a full year number. See the date and time format strings topic in MSDN for more information on date time specifiers. And run the application again. Group rows now display summaries with custom formatted dates.